Hey guys, welcome to episode 13 of Top Gear Nathaniel2256. First off, I want to start with Happy Christmas and also a Happy New Year of 2021. So, this is a new series on my Top Gear series, if you get what I mean, where I actually made my own Cool Wall. As you can see, it does say seriously uncool up there, then uncool if I'm pointing that out correctly, cool and sub-zero. Now usually when Top Gear does this, they usually put the cars in their place depending on what they think of the cars from the audience and also and also the jokes they made about it. But this time however, I decided that this way I'm going to be doing a judging on if I like the car or not, organised from what I hate, which is seriously uncool, and what I adore, which will be in Sub-Zero. If, if I like a car, but I don't love it, I put it in the cool section. If I don't like a car, and if I don't hate it, I'll put it in the middle here. And if I don't like the car, but I don't hate it, then I put it in the uncool. I do have seven cars to go through, and the cars that will be featured in this video will be featured from the first three episodes of my Top Gear series. Let's start off with this, it is a Ferrari California T, which was featured in episode 2. I, re I really like this car. Out of the three cars I tested in episode 2, this one was my favourite. I loved it. So, actually, when I say I loved it, it doesn't mean I adore it. But I do like this though. So it's going to go in the cool section down here. A really nice car now. I really like it. And remember, it's just my opinion. We have this car. This is the Pontiac Solstick GXP, which I tested in episode three. I don't really like this car, to be honest. I mean, I don't hate it, I just dislike it. Because, you know, it's an American car, and I know American cars are awfully awful. I do think older American cars are not that bad, but the new ones are a bit crappy, it's, except for the Mustang, which I think is a really nice car. So. I'm going to put this in the Encore section. I don't hate it, but I do dislike it though. So I'm going to put it here. Not a really nice car, that's quite terrible. Next up we have this. It is the Toyota GT86. At the time I was filming episode 3, this was my favourite car of all time. But that's now changed though to a different car because I do have a new favourite car right now. But I'm not going to tell you what it is until later in the series. But I do love this car though, it's a fantastic car. So I'm gonna put it in Sub-Zero. It's a really nice car there. Some people think that the new GT86 is better, but actually I think it's worse. Next up, we have the BMW M235i right there. And again, like the Ferrari, I like it, but I don't love it though. But I do like it though. The thing is though, I'm not a fan of newer BMWs, but I am a really huge fan of the older one, so. So, I think I'll put this here. There you go. So we have three more cars to go through. So let's move on to this. This is an Audi RS5 Coupe, which I tested back in episode one, in the very first episode. And, yep, this car is quite nice this time. But, the thing is though, I don't really like newer Audis. I prefer the older ones. Because the problem with the new ones, okay, is that they just don't have memorable gearboxes like in the older ones. Because new, because because most cars these days have automatic gearboxes and not manual ones, so it won't be as fun to racing if you have a racing car. But that does not mean I hate this car though. I like it, but I don't love it though. So I think I'm gonna put it near the BMW, probably about there. Here's what it looks like if you want to have a look at it. Next, I have this. It is an Alfa Romeo 8C, and I actually don't like this car, to be honest, because I think it looks incredibly awful. Remember, just my opinion. Second disclaimer, if you haven't caught up already. I do think it looks terrible, and I do think it's one of the ugliest looking cars of all time, especially the back end. The back end looks awful. And when I tested it in episode two, it didn't really drive that well. It drove like a Vectra from Vauxhall. So, I'm going to have to put this in the uncool section. But, I don't hate it though, I just dislike it, so... Yeah. This is the final car. This is the Aston Martin 
DBS. And I really like it. It's a fantastic card, this thing. Uh, it looks it looks nice, it drives really well, and when I took it around the test truck, it was oversteering like a rear wheel drive car, which is what a rear wheel drive car should be. And this is rear wheel drive, which is what you want if you want to do racing. But you know, I don't really like it as much as the Ferrari. But this is still gonna be going in the cool section though, because this is still a fantastic car. So I'm gonna put it there. And that's all the cars I put on the board today. I'm planning to make my next video another one of these because I really want my wall to be full of cars on here. And, and I'm hoping to get more in the future. I know this episode is quite short, but I am planning to make it longer in the next video. I am really loving the autofocus here, look. You can see how quickly it focuses. Yep, it is the Sony ZV-1. Yeah, really good focus. Actually, I have an idea. Oh. What's this? because it does look a bit out of focus like this because it's really close to the lens but if you have it out further away like that you can see how big it focuses look that's insane that's why I have this new Sony camera so thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye